Let's talk about what you're here today to talk to us about some changes yeah. that are being made to the food stamp program. What's happening? Yeah, the original 1996 uh, welfare reform allowed for three months, 120 days of uh, uh, for able-bodied adults without dependents. That's people from 18 to 49, no pregnant women, no elderly, uh, no people with uh, children in the household. They would be allowed 120 days when they were down on their luck, when there weren't jobs to do for food stamps. What happened was this became into a waiver situation. Uh, the statute was 10% unemployment. When we saw uh, in the recession years, uh, America's compassionate. They allowed waivers for people to do that. Now we've got more jobs based on the Trump's economy than we've got people <coughs> for apply for them. We're going back to the original congressional intent. That's what the administration is supposed to do. Look at the original congressional intent and go back there. So we are uh, we're eliminating those waivers except for those people who are naturally exempt. What kind of pushback are you getting, Mr. Secretary? Well, what you'll hear from the narrative from people who don't like that is we're kicking people off. What we're doing, people have to work 20 hours a week or volunteer 20 hours a week or be in job training for 20 hours a week. What we want to do is increase employment. We need these people in the workforce. Right. People who've been on the welfare, been on food stamps, we're trying to get them. And sometimes it is difficult when you've been out of a job for a long time. We're trying to help these people get back into uh, personal dignity of work and uh -huh. becoming part of the productive economy of the United States.